So today was a very, very hard day for me, and I need Muslim women to listen to me carefully. I'm not here to rain on nobody's parade. I'm not here to rain on anybody's dreams. But if you are a Muslim girl and you want to get into music, modeling, acting, what have you, anything mainstream like that, and you're, you're somebody like me, and you have this little moral battle inside of you of, oh, I might regret this later, but it's okay, I'll just repent. Everything will be fine. Everything is going to be so blessful. I strongly, strongly advise you to take a couple weeks a few weeks four weeks five weeks it don't matter and just pray and really think about it and so you're sure about what you want to do the hoops that i've had to jump through to get my content down has been extremely exhausting mentally logistically and you're not going to be met with compassion by the people you used to work with whether they're muslim or not the truth is the stronger your iman gets and the closer you get to allah the further away and the more detached you become from the person that you used to be. And you just want to move past it. I'm not ashamed of my past. I'm not ashamed of my past. I know the person I was when I wasn't. I was never a bad person. I was never a bad person. But I just want to move forward and I want to forget about that part of me, right? No one is letting me, okay? I still have the denim skirt video out here every other week being posted. Memes without my hijab. Music videos. And I just need you guys to think about it. This is not the 1800s. Digital footprint is real. At the end of the day, I'm confident in the forgiveness of Allah. He's the most forgiving, the most gracious, the most merciful. The fact that there's visuals that I don't want out there. And people are not compassionate. People are not in the same journey as you. And it would be wrong for me. It would be selfish of me to not give this insight to you guys. At the end of the day, I'm not going to tell you girls what to do. And I'm never going to judge you. I love all Muslim women at the end of the day. This is sincere, sincere advice. Alhamdulillah, I have the support I need. But I am telling you, if you are having that moral battle inside of you, to just listen to that voice that's telling you, maybe I shouldn't do this, because that voice is going to be a lot louder later on. Don't neglect that part of you. Don't consider that part of you an inconvenience. Just listen to it. And, and then whatever decision you make, I can't control you. But I'm here as your sister to tell you that the journey to repentance is not easy. Get ahead of it while you can. And may Allah forgive us all and guide us all.